If you have any problem, come see Dr. Brian. You've noticed that that symptom is all but gone. Totally stop. You said you've been actually enjoying life again. The dry needling's helped you? Oh yes. Thanks to you, I'm feeling much better right now. You know, I'm doing a lot of things now. I'm more active. If you have any problem, come see Dr. Brian. <laughs> Hi, I'm Dr. Brian Hutchison, and Joseph has traveled all the way from New York today to be with me, and thank you so much for being willing to share part of your story, Joseph. Yeah, you're welcome, Doc. Tell us a little bit about kind of what's been going on for you. Doc, it's a long journey, you know. You know just one day, just had a little incident in my kitchen, fell, you know. One month later, I had a lot of pain, dizziness neck pain, nausea, you know, you name it, you know, I was having it, you know, it was driving me crazy, you know. So, you know, I was talking to different specialists, chiropractor, doctors, you know, nobody can help me, neurologists, neck specialists, you know, nobody knows what's going on. Everybody's like, oh, you okay? I don't see no problem with you. You know, but I'm still, you know, having these pains of dizziness, muscle spasm, you know. I finally just don't know what to do. So I decided to turn to YouTube for help. Yeah. You know, that's where we decided to turn to YouTube for help and, you know, I find camera medical, get some regenerative medicine. It worked for about 50, 40 percent. I was still having the symptoms, you know. Turned back to YouTube and I met you, and, you know. Thanks to you, I'm feeling much better right now, you know. I'm doing a lot of things now. I'm more active, you know, with the family, traveling, moving around, you know. This is like my third treatment and, you know, it's a blessing, you know. Thank you for everything, Doc, you know, because it was just driving me crazy, man, you know. I didn't know what to do. I was just giving up with both. <laughs> Life and the stress, you know, this thing make you feel, you know, it's so hard, you know, dealing with this problem. And, you know, I'm here now, you know, feeling much better now, you know, getting my life back on track, you know. Excellent. You know, going back to work, knowing everything. Yeah, and you're welcome, Joseph. And one of the things that you mentioned was that you had this chronic kind of, you woke up and you always felt sick. Yes. And, and this was one of the symptoms. You had other things that were starting to improve from a lot of the treatments that you had done, but you couldn't shake that every morning you woke up. Yes. You just explain, how did that feel to you? And then, you know, how did that just, affect your day? Just every morning waking up feeling sick. It just affect my day. I just can't function no more. Just want to lay in the bed. Just don't want to do nothing. Just lay there. You know, just get up every morning sick, sick, you know, depressed. Because, you know, you're feeling sick, you just don't want to do nothing. You just want to lay in the bed, you know, stressed mm -hmm. out, you know. Mm -hmm. it just affect my day. You just don't want to go to work. Yeah. You don't want to do nothing around the house. You just want to lay, let the people lay down. Yeah. That's it. And it's in between our second round of treatments and now is your third that you came back down from New York, you've noticed that that symptom is... All but completely gone. Stopped. Completely stopped. Completely stopped. Completely stopped. So you're yes. waking up and, be, and before, I mean, you're you're a small business owner and it's kind of neat because, you know, what you do is you help make sure that everyone's able to go fill up when they go to the tank. Yes. You know, you're running a lot of different trucks and making sure that all the stations have fuel and it's, it's a pretty neat business. You know, you've shared a bit about it with me, but for a while there, I mean, you weren't able to really be part of helping your team as much as you'd yes. like to. And it, when you were lifting things that you had to move, it would make you even more sick. Yes. And so you were getting, you know, discouraged just yes, from discouraged. just from showing up each day. Yes. And so now we've got you back where in between the second round and the third round, I mean, you said you've been actually enjoying life again. Like, you're not only able to do everything at work, but you're back being fully present for your family, for your son, for your daughter, and just, you know, really thriving. So... Um, again, one of the interesting parts of this was that not that the doctors you went to weren't good doctors, but the fact that you had a fall in the kitchen and after that is when all your symptoms started yes. and that people maybe weren't looking enough into causes coming from your neck. And I mean, you had a bunch of scans done when you were still in New York. What's some of the things you had done in New York? Um, Brain. Brain, Brain scan, 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 neurologist, they couldn't find no problems. Like, hey, Joey, you healthy. You don't see no problem in the brain. You don't see no problem in the neck. Yeah. You know, until I came down to you guys, and you guys see the problem with this, the C1 tilting. So you've been wearing, uh, like, curve correction weights yes. for the last, you know, month and a half or so since we first started working together the last two months. 
And um, so you you know you notice that wearing those weights helps you to keep improving your posture. We went to the gym together once, so I showed you how to be able to start to get back into the yes. common the common thing that you had that actually was kind of like I would say a small pre-existing condition that made you more prone, Joe, to be able to have the symptoms you had after the one fall in the kitchen was you just had the typical modern human being with tech and cars, the little bit of the head being here. That was it. It was just a little bit of that head being in that forward position. And when you were reaching with things, you know, which seems very normal, but that set you up to have such a bad injury from one fall in the kitchen. So we've kind of rehabilitated you. You're moving now more from this position with your body. The dry needlings helped you? Oh, yes. Yeah. Definitely. How is that? How do you notice the changes with that? Like, you notice in relation to any other treatment that you've had, you know, how has that really kind of moved you in the direction of healing? Well, the, knife, the dry needle definitely helped me because I was getting a lot of muscle spasm, muscle tightness. You know, it's released now, you know, it's much calmer now. It's no more, too much tension there. Awesome. You know, the pain is not there no more. Excellent. You know, feeling much better now. So when we dry needle definitely works, it helps. Excellent. You know, that's a good thing though. Thank yeah, you. you're welcome. So yeah, I mean, just a pretty great success story here. And uh, kind of the, the message I'd like people to take home would be, you know, don't lose hope. Um, if you feel like something is originating or coming from your neck, Pursue it, you know, obtain a digital motion x-ray, check on your spinal curve, get evaluated by somebody that focuses on these hard cases, whether it's, you know, starting with an upper cervical chiropractor, or if you come down here to Florida and you see me, or you consult with a regenerative medicine doctor. The interesting thing is with Joe's case is that, you know, he was receiving uh, regenerative medicine injections and um, he probably still does have some level of instability or translation of one bone over another but he's been able to achieve what he would consider to be just about a full functional recovery meaning that he's doing everything he loves he's able to drive around his you know his car on the weekend and have a good time he's able to you know go spend time with friends be present at work for family and uh, so he's gotten his entire life back um, from a combination of Yes, getting some regenerative medicine, but really the dry needling the tendons and correcting the curve has got him to wake up without feeling sick. And that was the first thing that, that made that change. So, um, Joseph, is there anything else that you want to share? Or I appreciate you sharing your story. Good. Everything was so far, you know, thanks for everything, man. You know, I'm feeling so great, you know, it's a blessing. Yeah. You know, thanks, Doc. Yeah. You know, if you have any problem, come see Dr. Brian. <laughs> Thank you, Joe. You know, this is a place to be, man, you know? Yeah. Because a lot of people just don't understand, a lot of doctors don't understand the problem. You yeah. Know, just mm -hmm. wasting time, stressing yourself out, you know? Yeah. Going from A to B and, you know, no answers, you know, it's keeping up old. We look into a lot of the little things and that's been kind of a game changer for, for Joe's case was, you know, finding the tilting of C1, finding the suboccipital atrophy of the tendons and inability to get out of the hinge position without activating too excessively the SCMs or, you know, the muscles that are going to pinch down on the jugular vein. We've gotten that drainage pathway better yeah. where it's a lot clearer. He's feeling clearer in the morning. He's feeling not nauseous. Um, you know, his posture is improving. And it's only been, you know, just a handful of visits together over two rounds. So thank you again, Joe. I'm just delighted that you're feeling oh, so yeah. good. And yeah, we're going to stay in touch. Yes, sir. Yeah, thank you. Okay, cool.